I like zombies. Cool, it's like a planet. Is this another statue of the ultimate bee ball? Yes, Sparkly. The rings around it, the ring around it symbolizes the ring of friendship formed when Michael Jordan helped the Looney Tunes defeat the Monstars in the Space Jam. The power of the ultimate bee ball is revered by ballers, but also feared. They recognize the unlimited potential of a ball containing the abilities of the best ballers ever, but also knew that if the ball got into the wrong hands, the damage could be irreparable. That could suck. Don't give me a history lesson. I was at the Space Jam. I was part of the ball. I know firsthand the immeasurable power that ball contained. Don't patronize me. Jeez, man. You gotta take, you gotta have like, like a, you gotta go to DQ and get yourself a blizzard or something to make you feel a little better. You are correct. You don't need a history lesson. Let's move on. Well, you know, I guess, Charles Barkley, you did kind of rope yourself into getting a bit of a history lesson by looking at the thing. And, you know, like, what, what, what was he going to do? Just not say anything? Assume that he knew that you were feeling bad about it? This is the tomb of Larry Johnson. L Larry. I, I've never seen a man slam like he did. He'd get his look in his eye. Uh, this wild look that told you that something was up. And then out of nowhere, he'd snatch that ball and slam it like a true mamma jamma. There was so much I could have learned from him. There was a lot we could all have learned from him, Barkley. But there's no looking back. We can regret our mistakes for all our lives, or we can keep moving forward like he would have wanted. You, you're right. We always have to keep moving forward, no matter how bad it hurts. Wait, what's this? Why, it's a bee vault here. Thank you, Larry, and goodbye. Larry, thank you. And who do we got here? This sarcophagus. It's exactly seven feet, six inches tall. This has to belong to, yes, Sean Bradley. I was going through a difficult period of my life, and I wasn't so sure I could trust white people. <laughs> Sean, Sean helped me out. It made me realize it's not on the outside that matters, but the inside. Oh, Charles, you make me smile. He was a good center, Barkley, but he was a better man. Goodbye, Sean. Thank you for everything. And wait, what's this? It's a bee ball tear. So, thank you, Sean, for everything. All right, let's move forward. Oh, uh, watch your step, Barkley. The footing isn't so stable. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. This is actually a little, little unnerving. Boom! How does it feel to get a back attack? Back attack. Back Okay, so we do have, we're dealing with more and more enemies here. Let's see, Zobber Slash, Zeta. Let's go with the old Zobber Slash, actually. Yeah, that does a considerable amount of damage if I actually spam the button enough. So, did I get the cool stuff? Showbo Jam! Gain a bonus to a stat and deal jam damage to a foe. I like the sound of that, actually. Let's uh, see if we can take out the Slam Spectre. Yeah! <laughs> that was so cool! We were pictures being taken because it was show voting. <sighs> Sorry. Sometimes I get a little wrapped up in myself. Shower status effects onto enemies with water. Oh. Oh, and that just... Fire... Flame Zauber just lowers enemies' attack and... Shatters a fiend into a thousand pieces using ice powers. I don't really want those, actually. Let's just go for standard attack. Uh, ball brain. Zauber. Zauber dauber. Okay. Come on. Hit the free throw. Yeah. And... Oh, almost. Unfortunately, he's going to take my dude... Oh, finally, Charles Barkley gets a little uh, scratched up in here. You know, it's about time you actually enter the uh, fighting world. All right. This is going to end him. So, let's see. Let's, uh, how do I do a pass again? Oh, yeah, all right. You know what? I'll, these aren't actually all that complicated. I'm just being kind of a stickler. So let's actually try a pass. Yeah, oh, okay. So it's more difficult. Oh, my God, he threw his head at me. 
and that actually did a little bit of damage. Not not so bad though. But I'm just being, you know, kind of a stick in the mud about this whole thing, really. Yeah, you're dead. These aren't as difficult as I'm kind of making them out to be. It's just I'm kind of getting into the groove. I found zero Neo Shekels. Well, thanks a lot, yeah, bunch of dummies. Oh God, I gotta sneeze. <sighs> and let me guess, I'm not gonna sneeze, am I? Nope. Not yet, anyway. Oh no, I didn't even see that baddie. Kind of blended into everything. Okay, mm, what do I want to do? I think I'm gonna take out. No, I don't. I don't want to spend any more of my blue. I mean, geez, look at all the blue I, I already spent on uh, Charles over there. I might want to save these in case there's a boss coming up. So we'll take out the Zomballer with the Zomber Slash. Does not do a lot of damage. I don't like that. <laughs> so let's try the pass. Wow. Yeah, the pass does a conserve. Oh, but he took both of us out. And you missed, you bitch. So let's take out the zombie. Let's try the stab dash. And that's it. Still didn't finish it off. God damn it, Bobby. All right, let's just take out the zombie. <laughs> and let me get zero damage because he's already missed. Well, he's already dead. Thank God. I got diabetes. Oh no! I can't have my favorite treats. I guess I'm gonna have to take some insulin pills or maybe if it's a type two, I'm gonna have to start taking some shots or, you know, just friggin' give me the EpiPen and I'll feel a whole lot better. So let's stab dash him. Mm, still does not do a lot of damage. So I'm gonna pass on this one, haha, <laughs> get it? Oh man, it's, it just fucks up my eyes. But man, it does a lot of damage, I love it. So I think diabetes is like uh, poison. Is this game's equivalent to poison? So he, he fucking still has diabetes, eh? Well, let's see. Revive. Steroids revive somebody. That's nice. Battler's Tome. That just increases BP by a bunch. By, by 100%. I like that. So I, I really do want to cure him. There we go. Feeling a little better? All it takes is some steroids. It's open. Watch where you step, Barkley. Slam phantoms or zomballers could be anywhere, even beneath us. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, great. So now there's like landmine enemies. What is this pool? This pool commemorates the lives of all the ballers who were never seen again after the great b-ball purge. Men like Shaquille O'Neal, Ron or Tess, and even the great Hakeem Olajuwon. Oh man! Although they were never found, all of their fates are almost certain. All of this. This is my fault. This is my fault because of the chaos dunk. If I were never born, these great men would never had to... Barkley, get a hold of yourself. You can't keep blaming yourself for something that was entirely out of your control. I imagine he liked to slap him at that point. Come on, stop being a wuss. Let's move on. The guilt I've been living with. The chaos dunk. Hellbane, my greatness at the one thing I love most is what not only ruined it, but ended the lives of so many great ballers. It's like fate chose me to end the greatest era of man, to herald the cyberpocalypse. When basketball died, so did the camaraderie of birth. When basketball died, so too did the goodwill and hope that it fostered. The great b-ball purge wasn't the death of basketball. It was the death of mankind. Shit's deep. Something you said struck me, Barkley. What? You said that fate chose you. Yes. Maybe you're right, Barkley. Maybe fate did choose you to destroy B-Ball. Maybe fate chose you to end the great, the greatest game that mankind has ever been given. Mm, debatable. But I don't think so. I think the fate chose you for something far greater. I think fate chose you to redeem B-Ball. Give it a clean slate and fresh start. Right before the purge, Barkley, B-Ball lost sight of the two most important parts of the game. Slams and jams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it stopped being about the slams and instead the neo-shekels. It stopped being about the jams and about the endorsements. 
I don't think of you as a devil, Charles Barkley. I think of you as an angel. Oh, wow. Who, who are you? I can't tell you now, but, but you will soon understand. Come on, we gotta get moving. Yeah, you're right. Thank goodness. Come on, let me, I wanna get like a tear from the pool or a treat from the pool or I don't know, fuck it, whatever. Oh, here's another statue. What's this? A statue for ants? No, uh, a statue of the ultimate ball? Yes, Sparkly. The statue particularly interests me because of an incredible power it has. Power? What power's that? Touch it, Barkley. Wow. Oh, amazing. I feel my b-ball energy returning to me as we speak. This is incredible. Yes, Barkley. The statue restores the b-ball energies to those who touch it. It is quite an amazing artifact, one that I have studied quite extensively and still cannot find an answer to. Although perplex perplexing, though, it seems to have no ill effects. We can use it as we please. The ancient ballers, they were amazing. All right, so does that mean we're full up on everything? You bet your sweet bippy we are. So that'll come in handy. Hopefully those are scattered throughout. I wonder, can I like save my game on it? Or does it just do that? Be all engineers start now. It's unfortunately it doesn't. And we gotta trot around because there's freaking run energy. Barkley, wait. What? Don't you feel that? All that b-ball energy concentrated into one place? I don't feel anything. It's the spirit of a ref trapped in this dimension that's trying to get to the b-ball dimension. It's incredibly powerful. I don't feel anything, Helby. Well, you're about to. Here it comes. Oh, shit. It's a dread ref. What the hell? Okay. Actually, yeah, why don't we use some superpowers on him and then just go back and refill? And... Ka-ching! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And let's do a super showboat jam, yeah! <laughs> Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> love the uh, victory animation. So cool. That, that was a tough fight. May you find rest in the b-ball dimension, lost spirit. Rest. Rest in peace, wandering ref. Charles Barkley is like fucking whatever, man. Eh, freaking trotting along. Like I got the trots. Trotskis. Check out another sarcophagus. Gotta keep the pussy in the sarcophagus. Inside the sarcophagus is the mummy of Kobe Bryant. Oh shit! Kobe! One of the greatest players the Lakers ever had. He was an amazing player, Helby. He thought a lot of himself, but he had good reason to. He was one of the best. That's right, but... Brains! Look out! It's coming out of his sarcophagus. Oh, crap. So, now, it's, it's time to slam him. Holy shit! Kobe Bryant is packing beef. He's like a friggin' meaty beefcake, man. Luckily, I don't have to time anything for this. It just kind of happens. And wow, takes out a lot of energy from him. Let's do a double team. Boom, boom. That does a lot of good damage. In in small, it does a little bit of damage, but in a lot of do in big doses. Or no, the opposite. It does a lot of damage in small doses. Kobe, uh, I just killed Kobe Bryant. He was already dead, Charles. Yeah, see, he was already dead, Barkley. Jeez, game's speaking for me. Or I'm speaking for the game. I know that, but but that look in his eye, even in death. He had that baller look, that, I'm gonna dunk that ball so hard, <laughs> look. That was Kobe. I'm, I'm sorry, Barkley. No man should ever have to do that. Sorry, Kobe. I'm sorry. Now give me a tear or something. Forgive me, Kobe. Oh, great. I got jack shit for doing that. <laughs> ah, sorry, I got a bit, I have the bit of a, the sniffles right now, so if you can forgive me for that. But, you know, I'm getting over the most of it, for the most part. Now, I wonder where all this is leading to. Like, where am I being taken? Who is this man? Who really is this man? Oh, here we go. A nice save spot for us. And before I do that, I'm going to take a drink. 
Nothing. So what does this guy have to say now? Pump. It should be no surprise to anyone with a passing familiarity with VidCons that Pocky is the ideal food to snack on when playing mentioned game. When playing mentioned objects, sorry. Although playing is an inappropriate word because you experience rather than play a VidCon. I should use playing for the sake of simplicity. For those ignorant to the intricacies of this fine Japanese cuisine, imagine a delicate stick of sweetened bread about the, I know what Pocky is, okay? It's got chocolate on it. Length of a chopstick. It's tip coated in the richest chocolate imaginable. The bold flavor of the chocolate is complemented by the small nuts that caress the tip, creating a culinary juxtaposition of sweetness and saltiness. They can only have been hatched in the mind of a chef first in the subtle paradoxes of Eastern cooking. They are light and easy to eat and hold, useful for vidconning on the go, and their sugar content add the extra boost for late night vidcons. Therefore, Pocky has garnered itself the precious title of ultimate vidcon snack. Perhaps the only drawback of Pocky is its limited availability in the West, though this cannot be attributed to the snack itself but the infuriating baboons that think they are running grocery stores. Oh God, so pretentious. Is, is this what I think it is? Yes, a relic from old times to be sure. From what I have studied, I would have assumed that massive amounts of b-ball neutrinos created from the first chaos dunk lie dormant in the machine as a sort of power source. What? It still works. All right, let's check it out. Oh, I can buy items. I can hack. Insufficient science points. Failed to hack the vending machine. Okay. Uh, for some, I, f I forgot that it's like the the Jewish six pointed star and their shekels. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But how much we got? We got six six hundred and fifty. So let's see. What's protein paste? Oh, I didn't. Increases my life by a third. Hate to cooler by two thirds. That one is handy. I've already got five of those though. Uh, what's bee ball juice? Oh wow, ninety nine percent. BP. Hmm. I do need some of those. I do need shards. I got the tears, which is nice. So let's. Hmm. Let's get two of those. And then I, I have a feeling I'm gonna want to s insulin. Rose diabetes status. Oh, okay. Oh, well, helps get the edge off. <laughs> Tell me about it, am I right? Here's Asperger's. I can get Asperger's? What the hell, man? It's so weird. Of course, like here's diabetes. What's F stone and vitamin? Enriched with many minerals labeled I am Bainey. I don't get it. It must be a reference to something. It cures Parkinson's. These are some weird chicken do. Ew. Wow. Chicken do is good. And chicken fry. Wow. Cures everything. And I, I can't even buy it because it costs 700 shekels. Hot damn. This is my jam. Come on and slam and welcome to the jam. All right, you know what? That's gonna be it. Oh God, I gotta go through this shtick again. There, saved. Let's go to the left and see what we find. 